As the cases of coronavirus continue to grow, not only in the U.S., but here in San Antonio, so does the sense of worry. But do we really need to be worried? Here to answer that question and more is Dr. Larry Schlesinger. He is the CEO of Texas Biomedical Research Institute. Thank you, Dr. Schlesinger, for coming in. Thank you. So, Pleasure to be here. I, I'm just like most of the people. I keep hearing these numbers. I keep hearing all of this information. There's a sense of anxiety with me. Why shouldn't I be worried? Well, I mean, I think the anxiety is natural, and I can appreciate that, and I'm sensitive to that. Uh, but right now, uh, in San Antonio, if we start there, we have 11 cases. There's no evidence of what we call community acquisition here, um, and I think there's absolutely no reason to panic. Instead, I think people are engaged, and people like myself need to come on shows like this, and we need to keep providing facts and reassuring people. The other thing I want to say is, if someone is infected with this particular virus, it's very clear that chances are you'll either have no symptoms or maybe cold symptoms and get over it. I think for those who are elderly or have weakened immune systems, it's a different story, but it's still manifesting as a mild infection. Now, if we look nationally, I know there are four cases, I believe, right now of so-called community acquisition. And the concern is simply that this is now going to grow much bigger nationally. Uh, and then I think really we have to kick into plan proper planning. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, instead of panic, planning, awareness, something the CDC has uh, told us even a few days ago. Okay, so I, I hear about outbreak, I hear about widespread, um, I hear about the possibility of pandemic. What, right. what can I do at home? What can I do for myself? Yeah, so I think the basic principles, the basic tenets of um, protecting yourself from getting a viral infection is really still where we need to go. So what I would say is wash your hands with soap and water. Uh, um, the, um, the, we say at least 20 seconds, make sure you cover all your hands when you're touching surfaces or out in congregate areas. Um, stay away from people that are having cold symptoms and sick. I think those who are sick should seek medical attention and understand that uh, uh, we need to figure out what's going on because it's not just about coronavirus. We have an influenza outbreak going on right now. Uh, and I think that um, uh, prudent precaution is what's necessary, cleaning surfaces off. Uh, in public settings, um, I think is important. These basic principles where we need to go for individuals. And quickly before we go here, fun, funny you should mention flu. I keep hearing people say, well, the, the flu is worse than, than this, but this does not have a cure. The flu has at least some vaccines. Yeah, so the flu has a vaccine, by the way, that only 40% of people take. So I would say flu shot. Now we're getting a little later in the season, but still advocating for flu shot. Uh, and by the way, current numbers, 18,000 deaths, 120 children. Those are large numbers. Even though the overall death rate is lower than reported for coronavirus, it's still much more penetrating into our uh, you know, neighborhoods and environment, and we need to be aware of the flu shot. Many viruses travel in the winter. Seek medical attention for uh, respiratory symptoms, cold fever. All right, thank you so much. CEO of the Texas Biomedical Research Institute, Dr. Larry Schlesinger. Uh, so uh, speaking of weather and influenza and outside, let's go to uh, Andrew Wilson, who has a look at our forecast.